It's finally happened. You and your partner have broken up. You're separated. And there's this grief, this desire just to reach out and be with them, but they're out of reach. They're out of your life. Some days are just too hard to deal with. The pain, the emotions can be unbearable. <sighs> In a moment of desperation, you think to yourself, what can I do? How can I escape this living hell? What tools are at my disposal? And you start watching crazy YouTube videos and thinking about what compounds and nootropics you can take to help with the situation. That was me. A few weeks ago, I was in the depths of the breakup. I've been going out with my girlfriend for five years and yeah, it was a pretty major change for me to face. One morning, I'm at work, sitting outside in my car, feeling quite sorry for myself, listening to a podcast talking about oxytocin. And I start thinking to myself, maybe a dose of intranasal oxytocin is exactly what I need to get out of this situation. I have been experimenting with oxytocin for the past few weeks. I'll tell you what I have experienced. So let's go through the benefits of oxytocin and I'll give you my review as to how that has been subjectively for me. Oxytocin can help with social behavior. It can help increase trust and also empathy. Now, in my experience, this may have been present. I might have been able to be okay, but I think that's due to some of the other effects that we're gonna talk about later. Generally, in my experience, oxytocin has been mostly quite a subtle neurotransmitter to leverage. And sometimes it has been a bit more pronounced with its effects. Anxiety. Oxytocin can help control anxiety by reducing cortisol, the stress hormone in the body. Now, for me, I'd say that this has been one of the more pronounced effects of oxytocin. There have been a few occasions where I have been feeling a little bit emotional when I've been talking with a friend, maybe I've had someone over, it's getting a bit too much, you know, all the unprocessed emotions. And uh, yeah, I've had a squirt of oxytocin and I have felt a lot more level, a lot less anxious, a lot more able to be social, but I think it's down to the reduction in anxiety. So for the anxiety, oxytocin gets a thumbs up. Oxytocin can help with romantic relationships. It is in part responsible for pair bonding and can help reduce jealousy and insecurity. Now, fortunately for me, one of the things that has really helped me move on partly from my old relationship is starting a new relationship. I think that oxytocin may have assisted with the pair bonding in this new relationship and thereby helped me move on from my ex. But this is quite subtle. I, I can't definitively say whether it has helped or not, but there's a chance that it may have. I would say that finding someone new to pair bond with and using oxytocin is one way in which it may be able to help, but this is not guaranteed. And oxytocin is able to help with mental health, depression, anxiety, PTSD, maybe even autism. I, I have found that sometimes the squares of oxytocin can level me out for an hour or two. It can help me cope in a dip, in a time of need, and maybe provides that extra little boost to help me on my way. Now, those are the positive side effects of oxytocin. Let's talk about the negatives. 
So for me, the only times I had really negative side effects was when I consumed too much oxytocin. The negative side effect that happens from consuming too much oxytocin is nausea. Now, fortunately for me, I didn't really experience any nausea, vomiting, anything like that, so I escaped unscathed. Next, we've got headaches. This can happen when you're using a high dose of oxytocin or for a prolonged period of time. One evening recently, I had a friend visiting and I wasn't doing quite as well. So I was on the oxytocin and I had more. I wasn't really controlling my use. I went upstairs and I started to get headaches. I was just not feeling right. Things were feeling a bit weird with my head and it really came down to blood pressure. So this brings us on to the next point, that oxytocin, when taken in too high of a dose, can cause dizziness and low blood pressure. So I felt like weird after I'd consumed too much oxytocin on the weekend. I could really feel every heartbeat and it felt like bad. I'm like, is this a cardiac thing going on? Is something really weird? I started to feel extremely faint, extremely dizzy, like I'm gonna whitey or pass out. And yeah, that was pretty unpleasant. Fortunately, I checked my heart using an ECG and everything came out okay. And that helped put my mind at rest. Next, we have irritation of the nasal cavity. For me, this didn't occur. I didn't get any irritation in the nasal cavity. I didn't abuse oxytocin to that level. I've not used it every day. So basically I haven't succumbed to this side effect of taking too much oxytocin. And finally, we have behavioral changes. Oxytocin, when taken in too high of an amount, can cause negative behavioral changes such as impulsivity or aggression in some people. I don't think that I have experienced this, although you'd have to ask my friends, they'll tell you uh, what's really going on. But really, I don't think I have experienced any um, behavioral changes for the most part, and for that one, I have again escaped unscathed. So, in summary, is oxytocin the drug to help you get over your ex? It may be able to help rebalance your oxytocin levels temporarily and get you through those really hard moments. I would say that this is far more likely to work as a strategy if you are already seeing somebody else, someone new with which you can pair bond and someone who you have a really good relationship. And maybe oxytocin helps with that pair bonding but we all know that moving on from a breakup requires emotional processing, self-care, and time. Nootropics may be able to assist in this. For me, I think it may be the dopaminergic nootropics may have more benefit than oxytocin alone. I'm gonna get into that in future videos. So for anybody out there who's really struggling and is interested in finding out about nootropic solutions to their cognitive problems, please get in touch. Um, I'd like to speak to you. I'm available for coaching. Just get in touch with the link below. And until next time, I'll catch you later. Peace.